This is Baron J67. And I am T Jones. Nah. What's going on? I thought you had me there. Yeah, I was was waiting. (laughs) Listen, this is episode what, 22? We cannot get caught slacking. Not out here. Way too, way too many, way too much lacking. Way too much lacking. Mm -hmm. No lacking over here on the side. Those mo. (laughs) What's going on, man? Man, you know what? I'm exhausted. But I can I can hear it in you. I can uh, see it in you. You look like you was fighting all types of dragons and beetles and shit. I was, man. I was harvesting. I've been playing the hell out of um I've been playing Monster the Hunter. living hell out of Monster Hunter. Um it's pretty crazy too because I fell off for a bit just because it's what I do. Um mm-hmm. and you, I, you 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 are like the dark knight like you I'm here then I'm gone. Yeah, you can't you you can't be you can't be Commissioner Gordon. Look away for a second. Yeah, no, <laughs> straight I'm, out of there. <laughs> I'm, I'm the gamer they need, not the one that they deserve. Um, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, man. But I've been playing. Um, so Monster Hunter. Um, I finally beat Kingdom Come Deliverance, and I'm trying to figure out which game to get you to buy. Um. It'll take you a time. It'll take you a while. Yeah, no, that's why I'm waiting. I'm waiting for something special. It's gonna come some across. epic yeah. watch. Yeah, I'm gonna need like I'm waiting. But but you know what? You know I wouldn't be surprised if it, hey I want this game, but it only costs like ten bucks. <laughs> it's fun though. Hey, see, I thought about that, but I was like, no, I'm gonna make them pay. <laughs> I'm hit where it hurts. Make make me pay. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I got okay make to make me pay. Yeah, that's what I was like. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that because I I finally got you to do something. I like. Well, I mean, streaming and video and YouTube videos was kind of out of your element. That wasn't something you would just have picked up and done. But I got you to complete a game. Yeah. I mean, as long as we've been friends, I don't think I've seen you complete a game. I, I, so now, now you lying on me because I beat a lot of video games. Um, what games have you beat since we've been friends? You ain't be the story mode Call of Duty. <laughs> game. I take that back. You probably did beat Black Ops. That was the best one though. Black Ops, I did beat that one. You know, no, you know what? Well, no, that was Bryant. That or that was uh, your, that was your brother that beat um, Modern Warfare Three. Nah, is that the one? Which one was the one where you end off with the knife throw? That was four. Yeah. So that was called Modern Warfare. It was yeah. called it to be four Modern Warfare. It, and that was with, uh, what's his or name? Or was that Modern Warfare? Oh, no. Man. That Modern Warfare was the one where you got the plane and the dude that you thought was your guy, was your friend shot you. Yeah. And then, uh, what's his name? Uh, not Pierce. What was his name, man? Tell us in the comments. I'm, I'm yeah. running on fumes. But one thing I will say. Is that uh, Childish Gambino, Donald Glover is a legend. Mm. Um, I'm still in the dark on that because yeah. I haven't uh, seen it yet. Uh, we just want to party. Um, that This is America. That song is classic. The video uh-huh. is a piece of art. And Thanos, He came up with an album? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Not, not yet. Um, and then Thanos is running the Marvel Universe like... Uh, I don't know. My quick Thanos is running the Marvel Universe. Yeah. And Fortnite Universe. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. They had them they had them doing a bunch of dances on freaking Fortnite. That and Fortnite, shit was funny. Fortnite is so crazy that they really they're riding that thin line of becoming the full fledged Saints Row of Battle Royales. <laughs> now they're already kinda there, but there's a yeah. thin th- this line, this Thanos move. It's great. It's fun. But now you've made it to where every popular movie... Well, shit, they did John Wick. Like, yeah. So anything that's popular going on... Like, now I want to tell each other one. <laughs> of course you I want say to tell. About... I want the Teletubbies. Because first and foremost, the Teletubbies were like eight feet tall. So can you imagine these dudes stomping around Tiggly Wiggly out there smacking <laughs> you over the head with a purse? I... Yeah. How many people do you think would step away if they brought the telly dubbies to their I think to their people game. would go out of their pockets and go broke buying the telly well, of course. skins. Of course. Could you imagine getting wrecked all of a sudden the number one player? Because I don't we, know what we we all have some trollism in our oh, blood, man. so <laughs> or I would want to be um like a Conker's Bad Fur Day. Um or 
I would want to see like something scary. I'm I'm surprised they don't put more like g- like gamer costumes in the in the in you that game. You would think, right? I know, you I know, know copyright like, stuff, special basically. characters. Like, I mean, God of War just came out. They could have did like a God of War theme one. Mm. You know, they could have did something like that. But Boy. obviously, we know there's a there's a business Boy. behind all it. <laughs> hey, he. I'm not gonna lie. I I learned so much about Kratos. Kratos didn't go to school. You stupid. <laughs> Kratos hey. did go to school. Hey. Kratos has. He does have a heart. I I just love the fact that like his when his son went off. Spoiler. Uh, when his son was like, "Boy, this, boy, that." You <laughs> yeah. Want, all you do is talk to me when you need me to do something. Boy. Is it what you say? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> He was like, do you remember the emblem boy? <laughs> Have you seen that video? These dudes put a video where they were like, uh, God of War is life. And he was sitting there. Uh, he painted himself. And then he was carrying an axe. And he threw an outfit at his homeboy. He said, wear this boy. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, he spent the whole day trying to chop down trees with his yeah. rubber axe. <laughs> boy, see the way my boy. Leviathan axe works. Mm-hmm. He said the my favorite part was so far was when he said uh uh here only use it if you have to when he gave him the axe and then he came and back he, out and he had slaughtered like a whole army he, said, yeah, he was like hell? he was like you're I giving me you, your axe you left I'm, me. Letting you, I'm letting you hold my axe oh, oh so you're giving it to me <laughs> hey, uh Kratos would get on my nerves as a dad bro I'm like, I just wouldn't man? talk. See, if you don't I, talk, he don't talk. <laughs> no, nah, but see, I'd be the one to like say something under my breath all day and get hit with the Leviathan axe. Like, well, man, that's just you. I, I would communicate through through uh, through eye contact. That's the only way I'm communicating with him. He my dad. I ain't talking to him. Boy, this. Boy, this. Boy, that read this. I can't read. That's. <laughs> I don't so know far, that language. So far, I'm enjoying that game. Um, I, I love that damn game. For, me man, I've been back. I got back into Pokemon. Ooh. I got back into heavy Pokemon Yellow. Uh Yellow. The beauty. See the beauty of Pokemon, and I know we we always talk about like remakes and stuff. The beauty of Pokemon is that they've kept up with like Pokemon, the first game ever. Mm-hmm. You can, um. You can still get Pokemon from that game and play with them on the current game. Mm. So everything that and and you can tell you can see the progression in it. Like I remember, like people have there's some people that have never battled through using a cable. Yeah. You know how epic that was that to was do that. Bro. That was <laughs> like, everything. Man, those those were the days. I remember when we first got the. The, the game the game cable mm-hmm. and we connected it and we battled and my cousin beat my ass and uh because i don't understand i was using my favorite pokemon i thought they should have won but i guess he knew more than i knew so um i've got back into pokemon man i've been really enjoying it i'm i'm actually trying to get all 150 in pokemon yellow right now you can get 51 but i'm not about to go on no damn form and search for no damn Mew. So I'm just going to glitch Mew on a different game and then transform. So I got to, <laughs> and then trade them to the game I want. And 151 on one game, legitly. Man, <laughs> I, I've never been a completionist at all. Yeah. Um, But one thing I oh, can say. I know, say, we were just talking about that. Yeah, one thing I can say is these new Pokemon games are trash to me. The newer mm-hmm. ones are abs- like I've never felt so bored. I had to f- force myself to play the new Pokemon. I and what's so weird is nobody else says it's trash. So I feel like this weird person on this island by myself. You know, usually you can find one or two people like, oh yeah, bro, it's garbage. Like, you, but I you know what? It, the internet. You know what it's become? It's become more of like the true nature of you know. Remember the remember the song? Gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all. Yeah. That's truly what the game has become. It, it, fuck the story mode and all that shit. They're trying to get the perfect Pokemon with the perfect IVs and the perfect 
moves and the perfect in the egg egg moves and bro, all of this shit that bro, I'm just now learning. My I had my overweight self had more fun with Pokemon Go with low service than I did mm-hmm. playing Pokemon Go. Is it was it because Pokemon Go was simple? No, it's not even the complexity of it. That's usually what makes shit more fun. You know, as you get older, mm-hmm. you want something more complex. But playing yeah. this game, bro, they have markers. Can you imagine playing a Pokemon game with a, a thumbnail telling you where to go? Could you imagine playing a, a a damn Pokemon game that's 3D now? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I just was saying that. Yeah, part. no, but... Because I, I could never have... I would have never imagined. Yeah, dude, it's, it's weird. And then they added, like... You're, it's not really gym leaders. It's more like gym challenges and yeah, it, it's so dumb. It's like I don't. Yeah, maybe I'm I mean, just a caveman and put me back under my rock and let me go back to it. Like and then what also robs the fun of it is that um, that strategy. Like now I'm pure strategy. I got a po- yeah. I had uh, what was his damn name? Is it uh the he looks like the drowsy. I think I had a drowsy. Okay. Yeah. 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 I had a drowsy and I would just use him, put the Pokemon to sleep and then catch the Pokemon. So I'm just yeah. running through, get put the Pokemon to sleep, catch it. Put the Pokemon mm-hmm. to sleep, catch it. And then I had, a, I would keep a ghost type. I'd keep a fire type. I'd keep a water type. Uh, and then of course I keep like a random steel, slash dragon or something just <laughs> that just yeah. uh yeah and then i would just go through just mega wrecking now i know they have this thing called uh i want to say it's nuzlocke challenge uh tell me in the comments if i'm saying it wrong but uh-huh. basically it's got a whole set of rules to make it to where the game's not easy like you can only use the pokemon that you catch and you have to swap it out immediately and like there's a bunch of rules in place to make the game more harder and yeah more of a challenge nuzlocke challenge and um i haven't tried that yet but there's no drive for me to try it with pokemon moon i haven't played mm-hmm. sun but i can only assume it's not too much different than pokemon which moon. one ain't the new one sun like ultra moon. sun ultra well, moon ultra... see now i haven't tried those so who knows if they fixed those and took out the the ease of it and made it a little uh-huh. more int- not even intense but it feels like you can't free roam Oh, okay. It, it it's weird, man. It's a strange, and I can't find anybody to who else feels that way. So that's why I feel like I'm just on some mm. island by myself. Please, somebody in the comments, let me know if you. Well, have like it. I said, I mean, for me getting back into it, it's more have been like I'm I'm looking at people talk about how they enjoy, um, like looking for like like for example, trying to get okay. Maxing out the stats, getting the perfect rolled Pokemon. True. You know, breeding these Pokemon. Getting, you know, you got to get the Pokemon with this specific nature or this specific uh, ability. Right? Yeah. And then, then you got to get the po- Then you got to breed the Pokemon. Then you got to get the Pokemon. Then you got to take the Pokemon and do this with it. Then you got to put this attachment or this item on it. Then you got to breed that item. Then you got to breed that Pokemon. It, it's I'm sitting here talking to people in chats, like on Facebook groups, like, okay, where do I get started? One dude was like, just go try to get the perfect ditto. <laughs> get the perfect ditto and you have completed 35% of what you need to do. And I'm like, damn, I, I mean, I got two dittos right now, but I don't know if they're perfect. Now I'm now I'm really breaking down into the the just of this game. But I'm I'm only doing I'm playing, see, I'm not playing for that fact. I'm playing to complete like the yellow, then go on to like crisp or silver and gold, and then com- actually complete the Pokédexes over there, and then go f- the next one, so forth, so forth. So uh, I'm enjoying yellow right now. Uh, I think I got like 73 Pokemon, hmm. like legitly caught and raised, or not really. It's it's pretty cool. I'm enjoying it. I, it's my first 3DS. My first one, and um, it's been doing me justice. I take this damn thing everywhere. It stay in my pocket. I thought I broke it one one day. It was in my pocket so long. So, 3DSs are clutch, and I'm really thinking about the Switch. What do you think about the Switch, though? Um, 
I think the switch is perfect. And actually, it's funny you bring that up. I don't know if you heard, but the switch basically got uh, dreamcasted. There's a mm -hmm. there's a un there's an unfixable uh, glitch or open. There's an unfixable uh, hole in their security to where people are jailbreaking all the switches, oh, and there's no way to fix it other than to recall them and put a whole new hardware. Mm -hmm. There's like it's so you just so, gotta let them rock. So just basically, if you can get your hands on a on a this generation switch, yeah, there's no way of fixing it. There's you can mm -hmm. jailbreak it. People are running Linux, people are putting all type of crazy stuff on there. And you know what yeah. that usually means for consoles. Usually, when consoles get jailbroken like that, it breaks them to a point where not much money is being made because people are illegally putting games and whatnot on it and yeah of course of yeah. course it, it throws the market for and, a loop so. and then it then you got to think now what happens to the online competitive play all of a sudden you got this kid on mario kart who's got a million wins but the game's only been out for a month mm -hmm. like you know they're, they're probably shit. no but i already know Just there's people who run like that but now there's no way of really stopping like why is this dude so good i don't know yeah, see, I, what I would do, I would just, I, I'd just say, f it, man. I'd shut the servers down for them games, and call it what it is. It's none. We, that's another Game Boy, <laughs> pretty much. Yes, <laughs> and that, and that's, you know, of course, there's a lot of people out there who aren't gonna do, like, it's more homebrew. Like people just going yeah. in and trying to, you know, get stuff just to get it, be the first to break something. Um, but I, I want one. I want one simply for uh, Zelda, but my problem with Zelda was they've made DLC for it. Now everybody praised it and said it's good, but what world do we live in where Zelda need, has DLC? I just said that to you about God of War. Yeah, like... Well, not for the DLC part, but for the factors that have changed it, but that, see, that is crazy. It's on, it's Zelda was a Game Boy game. What Game Boy game ever had a damn DLC? Like, I that's once again I know I'm sounding like an old man. I'm clearly an old man at heart. I mean shit, I'm wearing a polo. Um with all three buttons button. All the way up. I'm buttoned, Just, uh, all had to point that up. out. I'm all the way up. Um uh -huh. but it's a uh, it's weird. Like can you imagine mm -hmm. Mario deal? First off, Mario DLC don't sound crazy anymore. Now that there's Didn't they come DLC. up with Smash Brother DLC for characters? Yeah, but see, that's a fighting game. I can live yeah. with that. Fighting games, okay. adding characters, I never have a problem with that. Yeah. But when you give me a classic game that usually stands alone and stands the test of time, such as a Zelda title, yeah. and then you tell me, oh, hey, by the... And they announced it at E3 last year. Oh, yeah. Mm. And we're going to have DLC. I'm like, how do you even announce DLC with the announcement of the game? Okay, that's a practice that I really feel it needs to die today stop putting my dlc on in my game before the game before the dlc is released one yeah because that means you had time to work on it and build it and it's damn near done but yet yeah that's all that means I, that's but all you that know means. what i i always i always thought of it like this like they would uh like they're create or they're either creating or finishing up the game damn, Colin, and right. then they have the concept for the next part of the game but that's, that's how I looked at that. That's, then leave it alone and don't put it on my damn disc or don't I mean, put it in I, my data. I say this shit all the time. I don't want, listen, I'm done with demos. I'm done with pre-orders. I'm and done with all of that stuff. The download stuff. takes 54 gigs and then you buy the game and the full game I'm comes not, out 50, 53 I'm not, gigs. I'm, I'm, I'm all they did was doing it. compress it. I'm not doing it. I'm watching the all I'm watching is Pokemon videos on YouTube. My my video my video feed on Pokemon um, on my my recent plays Ooh. is all Pokemon videos. I'm not watching nothing. I, went I don't to watch. RuneScape. Huh? I've been playing a lot of RuneScape. See, man, I, I want to be disconnected hell. because the world ruins everything for you. Yeah, just a little bit. It ruins it for you because like. Listen, man, it's just so crazy. Like the one thing about, I mean, Destiny DLC came out today, and um, the one thing that I could say about that was the that they did not ruin the story. I was shocked. I was way shocked on what happened in the story, and I will not ruin 
it's it's so fresh still. This it just came out hours ago. But um they did not ruin the story for me. I was I was in shock and awe. And there was moments where I was like, damn, this is crazy. But it was real short, straight to the point. And then it continues on after that. Um, but I can only imagine if I dove and watched all of the live streams from Bungie and watched all of the gameplay and shit that I would probably be sitting there trying to dissect and break everything down to ruin it for myself. So at this point, I'm done with demos. I'm done with demos and all that shit. I don't watch nothing. I don't even watch. I try not to watch trailers on except unless it's like Marvel or something. Mm-hmm. Try not to watch trailers because I don't want it to be wrong. And thanks for editing, uh, blocking my video. Idle something entertainment. <laughs> Put him on blast. Call him out. That's trash. <laughs> That's trash. Why don't you block everybody else's video? Why just my yeah. Because Why you block my homie video? You don't want me to be famous. You don't want me to be a star. Uh, then you know, that's okay. low-key a plug. Let's plug, man. Plug yourself, it's man. Okay. Go I'm ahead. Gonna, subscribe I'm, to I'm, my man's YouTube channel. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be great. I'm going to be great. <laughs> I work too hard for it not to be. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, I agree with you. I'm going to be okay. Y'all can block that video. I got eat <laughs> something more. Yeah. Assholes. You stupid, man. Um. What? Oh, yeah, man. So have you finished Black Lightning? Black Lightning. Oh hell. Okay, moving on. So <laughs> now, what the, uh, wait, wait, no, no what's Black RuneScape. Lightning? So hey, with RuneScape, I finally went back to the game, and I um, I I'm didn't think you just I didn't topics. think I would enjoy it as much mm-hmm. as I and I've never to. played RuneScape, bro. It's free. It's free and. I've already ranked up like I'm like ranked 26 in mining and I did mm-hmm. that in one night. I really sat up for like six hours in mine. Can you and finish it. XCOM? Can that game be beaten? Yes. Let's have a moment of silence for XCOM. <laughs> so yes, it can. Uh, I'm gonna he ain't gonna never finish that shit. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you what what goes down with XCOM. XCOM is one of those beautiful games that lets you feel really good about yourself, and then you yeah. get towards the end, and then you realize how royally screwed you are, and uh-huh. it wrecks you, and it makes you pay in the most excruciating way. It'll make you lose it'll it'll take away all your best characters it'll take away all your best abilities it'll have you so strapped for soldiers and so strapped for cash and intel that you will just start over Uh uh-huh so that game hurts it it will punish you but not immediately it'll punish you in the beginning or in the end Mm -hmm. You'll, you'll get good and well into the game, and then you'll realize, like, wait, I should have built what? Like, like, oh, I got to go back? Like, <laughs> wait, you telling me I should have researched that item instead of this item back then? Uh-huh. Is it one? Okay, so you, I believe that nowadays, I believe that nowadays, uh, or most people, if they're playing a video game, they have to have a computer or a cell phone next to them, mm. right? Is XCOM one of those games? Oh, like where I need to I need to research who I'm going against. Then yeah. Um, well, see the cool thing they added in the new XCOM, they added this mechanic of being able to evacuate out of any mission. Like if it's going bad and your squad's just getting wiped, and you could pick up one of your units, like throw them over your shoulder, call for an evac. Get the hell out of Dodge. I've done it mm. at least three times. Um, I have a hard time with that because I'd rather just uh, save scum and start over than to leave the mission and get the failure. Mm-hmm. Because a failure gives the other, the opposition, it gives them a whole, like... So the game is constantly running. You're sitting here. You're trying to build up your base and build up your resistance towards the aliens. But as you're building, they're building. Then on War of the Chosen, there's these three dudes chosen by these like alien gods that are chosen to come and assassinate you. That's their whole point is to kill you, either capture you or kill you. So they pop up randomly on battlefields. So you'll be having a good time on a mission. It could be simple. Then all of a sudden, this dude with a sniper rifle that can shoot all the way across the map (laughs) pops up. 
And then they talk mess the entire time. They sit there and be clowning. Like, oh, so-and-so, you're getting rusty. Da, 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 yeah. And, like, you're garbage. Like, it get, it gets really bad. They be they crazy. Shooting. They be shooting. Then they mess around and drop. Um, you'll, you'll mess up, and you'll get more, um, more enemies. More enemies will pop up. All of a sudden, they'll call in for reinforcements. You'll got to break into, like, a prison cell and sneak somebody out. Like, it's, it gets chaotic. So I say yeah. I save scum. Some people play hardcore where like they live with their mistakes. Um, I tried that, and it hurts. It hurts. So <laughs> Do you lose a lot when you? Yes, because your mistakes count. Okay. So let's say you were going into a mission, and your whole point was to steal steal some data. Cool. Which sounds easy on paper because if you got a tech guy. He can send his drone in undetected and steal the data and you can extract from the mission. But the problem yeah. is you don't know where the enemy is. You have an idea, but you don't really know. And then you, as you progress, there's gear to build to help you to use to better uh, to better assess the scenario and whatnot. Uh oh, excuse Big me. Big yawn. Yeah. Um, and there, there's a, <laughs> I'm, I'm so done. There's there's so much you can do. Um, and then it's hot and I'm big and I don't do well in these temperatures. Um, <laughs> well, I mean that. See, I hear about XCOM. I've never played it. Uh, like I said I've just started playing PC games um, this year, but or just got back into. Do you PC like gaming, grid based but... uh, grid turn uh, turn based grid RPGs? I wouldn't know, man. Have you played like Final Fantasy Tactics? Have you? No, I have XCOM? not. But it, the see the thing with me is I'm getting to play point now in video games. Where if you catch me like the first five minutes of a game, I'm gonna play it, and then if I even if I start the game, I'm gonna finish it. Mm, if, especially so. if you have a, a nice story, something to go for, or something like that, I'm, I'm gonna finish it. You like you know XCOM. it's. XCOM gives you it's like it's like playing interactive chess, but you can move around the whole map and shoot. Mm. See, something like that would be cool. And it get I mean they got different types of missions like there, and then they added zombies basically into this one. So you'll go into an area and it'll say, "Oh, it's a horde." I'm like okay, so you're trying to extract somebody out of the area, of scientists, and as soon as you get to them. Along the way, you're you're seeing ho all these zombies everywhere. It's cool because you get a couple headshots off. So whenever yeah. I go to horde, um, whenever I go to a horde, I always bring nothing but snipers who have second shot. Where basically, as long as they get a kill, they can keep shooting. Oh, okay. So they're just sitting there, bah, 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 like John Wick, and just killing a bunch of <laughs> different zombies. Just shooting, and yeah. Keep shooting. And it's and that's probably the only time I'll run all snipers because it just it, they'll overrun you. It'll turn into like you got thirty zombies on you. I mean, you Ooh, can only, you can only get hit four by four at a time, but it's still just a matter. Yeah. If you get locked up, you can't move, and then mm. they kill you, and then now it's permadeath, and now your mission's failed, and you lost. Now, all when, you, when you in XCOM, when you die, do you lose everything you? Have? Um, if you don't pick it up, you like if you had special items on you that you picked up during that mission. Uh, you have to send another soldier over to that area to pick it up in order to um, in order keep to grab it. yeah in order to keep it. Then, or you like extract their body, or if you get knocked unconscious and you don't go pick them up when you finish the mission, um, they'll be taken hostage, and then you'll have to go and on a on a mission to get them out and break them out, and it just it can go or or the one of the chosen can come down and like knock you unconscious and steal information from you to better oh, move shit. their agenda along. And uh, this game sounds like it's got a lot it, going. It's got so many moving pieces, bro. It's not even funny. Mm -hmm. Like n then there's a base building mechanic. Like it's no joke, bro. It's time consuming. It. I love it. I love those type of games though. Ogre battles, ogre battle uh, tactics, ogre final fantasy tactics. Um, Speaking of base building, I, I just had this conversation 
um any any game that had like base building or like level creating stuff like that i'm speaking mostly for console because i mean obviously pc you can take it to a whole another realm um Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 was the best building experience of my life. Mm, where you got to build I your just, own map. Huh? Where you got to build your own skate map. Yeah, boy, man, we used to build the craziest things. And that was like, and and when I say, uh, when I say that, I'm talking about these crazy ramps where you try to, you you could only do one trick. <laughs> so you had to get it right um or it just it was just an endless loop if you got it wrong we used to uh, another game that i spent a lot of uh time and it's not even per, not even uh it, the game wasn't even meant it just had destructible it, it was just the game was very destructible so you could do stuff like you dig tunnels with guns and you weren't even supposed to do that red fraction PlayStation mm-hmm. 2? Man, we used to They're dig actually, tunnels too. They just rem- I want to say they announced a remaster for it, which we don't like. Yeah. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Bad. Sean. I'm not Sean. doing it. No, it I, just... I hate... I'm not even going to go down that road again. Yeah, see, um, we, we just destroyed that conversation. I'm not going down but that road again. That was another game that uh, low-key building... You could do because you could build a tunnel to like some the ba- the the enemy's base, and they wouldn't know. So you can always you always had a flank, always had a flank to get behind them. That was a fun game. I love that game. Um, but and then you start to build stuff in like Fallout, Fallout Four. Ooh. That was a good building mechanics. The shit that you could do in that was crazy. I'm gonna tell you. I think it was better on PC though. Fallout Four was. Big, a big puddle, mm-hmm. a lake sized puddle. Look like a lot, but when you put your toe in it, your foot's still sticking out the water. Like it, bro. I didn't even get fully initiated into the Brotherhood of Steel. That's how not far I got into I, Fallout 4. I, I'm not even nowhere close to that. No, but that's, even... that's what I'm saying. Like, did you even meet the Brotherhood of Steel yet? No. That's my point. Like, it was just, it felt hollow. And, Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so we could talk about this. E3 is next month. Oh, yeah. What games, what companies are you looking forward to? E3? Uh, I think the, I'm not looking forward to, I mean, obviously, we're, I'm not really, I have not been paying attention to companies. I've been more focused on games. Uh, or like just titles that I'm looking forward to, uh, like, to be honest, it has shrunk ever since I decided to, to cut back on like pre-ordering games and purchasing games. Like I've been really only focused on Red Dead Redemption. Oh, okay. I've been only focused on Red Dead Redemption. I don't even care about Bungie's E3 booth. I don't care about none of that stuff. I'm only focused on, uh, Red Dead. So you would probably have a better idea. Okay. The companies there. So, okay. what what companies are you looking forward to? Okay, and then I'll jump on to Red Dead. Um, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to CD Projekt Red. Um, I'm hoping they announce that Cyberpunk 2077 um, is coming out either end of this year, like holiday. That's season. a game. Yeah, and you'll 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 probably play it. Um, it's a RPG action. It's an action RPG shooter. Um close it would be similar like the best comparison would be a fallout or uh um or uh um what's that damn game called with adam jensen um wow mankind divided um Mm. damn it i forgot the official title i am gone well so i'm looking forward to cd project red they they haven't failed me i mean every game which all the witcher games have been amazing um, so that's a big one. I'm actually really excited to see what um, what Bethesda is going to do because they're talking about a Bethesda game studio game. Now, I don't want another 
I don't want any more Prey, even though I know they're going to do it. I don't want any more Doom, even though I know they're going to do it. I don't want any more Quake. I know they're going to do it. I'm looking for, hopefully they redeem themselves with this game that everybody's hyped about called Starfield. Now, the whole thing about Starfield, people have few finite details, but then it could all be fake. It could not even be a game called Starfield. Yeah. But everybody's hoping there's a game called Starfield. And that's what I'm looking forward to. And I'm hoping they really redeem themselves. Because for some reason, not for some reason, Fallout 4 was hollow. And it was linear. I didn't feel like I was playing a Fallout game. If any other company made Fallout 4 and called it something else, I would have probably enjoyed it. But when you go into Fallout, you expect Fallout. You don't expect a linear storyline game where no matter what you do, the same outcome happens. Yeah. Like that. Like it, it's that's that's why it was so bleh because it wasn't what it was supposed to be, it wasn't okay. what was promised. Um, so well, back to the positives, I'm looking forward to that, and then also, um, I want to see what Xbox has up their sleeve because they're trash. I love <laughs> Xbox, I love them as in the community, not the community, but the ability to link up with people, it feels a lot smoother feels a lot easier to interface but mm-hmm. but at the same time it's crap for the simple fact that there's no there's no um no original ips or what what's the better word for it there's no exclusives there's no damn exclusives what's yeah the, what's the last exclusive we had what sea of thieves which i knew was going to be trash bro i knew for a fact it was not trash i knew it was going to be arcadey there's not too many arcade games outside of fighters that you will sit and play for hours on end. Like you're not gonna. You don't pick... think you don't think that's a money thing though? What Sea of Thieves? Nah, with uh their ex- their exclusives. Because what? when Xbox started, they started off kind of they started off Whack. in a bad spot. I yeah. think they shouldn't have pushed that. They shouldn't have came out when they came out. But they and... didn't want what happened. They didn't want what they didn't want what ended up happening to happen. They didn't want to get yeah. washed away by PlayStation 4 sales. Mm-hmm. But, but what it, they failed see, to I, realize is they got fanboys. Yeah. You got fanboys. You got people who are going to buy an Xbox regardless of what systems are out there. You got some people who don't buy any other system besides but Xbox. Xbox. And it, so, go, it goes both ways. The only true. reason why Play, PlayStation did better was because they took system. the mistakes that they had and then they, they also gathered things that xbox did and did for them all they did for their own came yep. out with psn network which was amazing came out with the party chat system which they should have been had all of this stuff they did xbox already had xbox 360 had you see what i'm saying they remember i say this all the time xbox 360 was the gaming console yes it was. playstation 3 was, was the entertainment. entertainment console it had a Blu-ray, the roles have flipped yeah. <laughs> it has changed now <laughs> so um, and I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not too much worried about the consoles. Their, their life. It, it's like they, they just put out a article talking about how uh, PlayStation sales are, will start to decline because it's hit its peak. It's saturated. Yeah. Like yeah. you can't sell it to anybody. Else. Um, yeah. So I, I guess the next thing that they would have to do is announce a new system. So that's kind of the, the that's the point where I'm and, waiting for. And let me and let me tell you this. And this is already in the talks. People have made references. Um, pretty. I hope Xbox doesn't shoot themselves in the foot by announcing a new system. Mm-hmm. That would piss me off to no end, because your <laughs> Xbox One X is supposed to be that system. The new system, yeah. It's supposed basically the Xbox One X from the specs alone is supposed to be the next generation of system. Bro, but like I said, Xbox is the new PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation did that shit all the time. Come out with a smaller version, but it's better. <laughs> Xbox is good. If, if PlayStation, but you know it's it's just a race. Stay on top. PlayStation announced a new system. Xbox going to definitely announce a new and system. This is, and this is why I'm afraid, and it's a reasonable fear, because Xbox doesn't want to run into the same problem they ran into this generation. Mm-hmm. They don't want to get washed out. They want to be the first ones to put something 
No. Yeah. And, and then they want... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. You get, you get that new fever. You get that initial sale. It's easier to spend the $500, $600 up front on the one system. But can, can you imagine how many people had a hard time getting the PlayStation 4 when it came out and then trying to piece up and get the Xbox One? You know, because yeah. it was... It, it was crazy, and then Xbox One when it first came out was what five hundred. Yeah, yeah, it was five hundred when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Um, I just uh... and it was only five hundred because the Connect. Yep. Or the yeah, yeah the, it is it the the called the Connect? Yeah. yeah, it's called the Connect. Um, and and then that was another thing they discon they discontinued the damn uh Connect adapters to the One Xs and the the Xbox S's. So, mm-hmm. and now it, by doing that, they created this like black market for, uh, uh, connect adapters. They're going, they used to go <laughs> for like, I think 40 to 50 bucks. Correct me in the comments, folks, please. But now mm-hmm. they're selling for damn near $300, like crazy amounts of money. Cause I'm gonna tell you the connect is dope. It's yeah. a dope. Ad- I love it. I have never disconnected it. It stays but connected. I, you, I, you know what's I, go ahead. You know what's crazy about these consoles, and all of them are guilty of it. Every single one of them are guilty of this. They they come out with a concept, or they come up with a console, then they come out with a concept for the console. Whether it's the Connect, whether it's the PlayStation camera, the PlayStation Move, fucking the Vita. stick things, all this shit, and they never stick with it. They never they, stick the with it. It, it dies out at some point. <laughs> There's just nobody uses them. The, the bad part the about switch. that is, like, for example, like even even PlayStation, PlayStation with the PlayStation Vita. Mm-hmm. You know how amazing the Vita is to have PlayStation Four. You you basically, in a sense, have a second console. You you basically have a switch for your PlayStation, as long as you have a PlayStation Vita. But they never stuck with the Vita. Yep. They never stood behind it as much as that they should have, because not only are you going to make more money, because hey, you PlayStation Home, go to work and play my games on my X, off my place, off my uh, Vita, man. You know, motherfuckers would be doing that. You telling me my online experience can stay? I can take this shit anywhere. All I need is internet, man. And not a lot of people took advantage of it because they didn't stick behind it. They didn't update it. They didn't make it better, make it convenient for people to, to be able to do that. Just like Xbox with the connect. How do you take a feature that y'all basically sold me on and just scrap Scrap it all together? Like that was the big selling point. Yeah. See, that's crazy to me. I just, I never, I never will understand. I never. So, so um and then um oh um jumping back on E3 there was another game um another Sony exclusive I'm looking forward to it actually looked it reminded me of Tenchu but it was a samurai game called something of uh, it starts with a T I don't want to butcher it but it's a it, it's a ninja assassin samurai game and yeah. it actually looks really dope. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking for the la- looking forward to the Last of Us too. I'm looking forward to um, Days Gone. Ooh, I I am so I am so excited that I get to play the Last of Us. Hey, but I'm gonna tell you this, bro. This is what also, and this is me just putting on my speculation tinfoil hat. Speculation alert: the reason why they pushed back all these major games, such as Days Gone, and um. Days Gone, Last of Us 2, they pushed back something else that was supposed to be an exclusive that was going to be up to be released this year. It's because I think they're mm-hmm. pushing it back to bring on the new to- uh, the new console. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably I make really, it for I it. Really, I really think so. Yeah, I mean, at this point, we have no me, say. That's me being a big, throwing in my big speculation. I mean, because yeah. I think, let's, let's be real. Wouldn't this time frame fit almost to a T? With what happened uh, with Grand Theft Auto Five, the new Grand Theft Auto came yes, out, it did. and then all of a sudden, consoles, new consoles came out. They ported it, and then all mm-hmm. of a sudden, you, you now know you what double I mean? up fits, on sales and money. It fits with the same timeline. Yeah, they, they could do it again. I mean, and it would they could all over again. They could. I mean, it, it is if they announce a new system at E three th- this year, 
which I doubt. I, I, I really don't think that if they do, though, you will, you'll see a lot of games pull from that Grand Theft Auto. Because imagine how much money, because first of all, you make a new game, right? The game is amazing. Everybody's going to want to play it right away. Everybody wants it. Everybody's playing it now. And then you telling me, oh, yeah, yeah, well, you know, do some type of promotion or some type of whatever. And you can buy it on the new system that comes out next week. Mm-hmm. So now it's like, oh, yeah, well, shit, I'm playing this game. Let me get it on my new that I just got. So I, now I got games from my new system because I don't want I don't want to have a brand new system and no games. Oh, I'm already playing this game and I already have it. On. It's just doubling Xbox. up, man. That's what murdered the Xbox. You know what question? You know what question always stuck with me that I always wanted to. I always wanted to an answer, for, and I, 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 I guess I, I can figure it out if I do some more research. If when games create, like, uh, when they when they create like collector's edition games or like special editions when they sell, like for example, uh, let's use Uncharted as an example. Uncharted came out and Uncharted one, two, three, four, right? Mm-hmm. But right before four came out, they they came out with a uh, like like a deal where it's like uncharted one two three on one disc okay. for sixty bucks. Now, do they get? Is that just is that considered its own title, or yes, do they get a sale towards it's one its two own three? Title. Its that's, own title. Yeah, that's why it'll say like the legacy edition. Even when you go mm-hmm. search it up online and the sales for it, it'll list it as its own game. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I. I never understood why cheap, they that'd would be a cheap way to get multiple sales would be to just stack everything on top of each other. I see. I'm looking at it like streaming, like streaming industry now, you know, like how, Oh yeah. A certain amount of streams equals to an album. So, uh, you know, so if, if they did it that way, cause I never understood like, yo, if you, you don't remake a game, how much, you know, how much money you could remake, especially if it was a good game, if you just did it individually, Instead of saying, "Oh yeah, you get one, two, three, four, five on this," we'll give you one, and then we'll give you two, and then next week we'll give you three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that's just me playing devil's advocate. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. all for the people. I'm yeah. all for the people. Sure. No. Uh, <laughs> Turncoat. No, but um, but no. Um, what was I gonna say? Um. E3. You know, I just thought, well, E3, we were, we were talking. About, so they, I, I pulled up the E3, E3 website and they, um, they got some companies, some notable companies here. Uh, Funko will be there. Uh, I'm not so, worried about the showcase. I'm worried about the presentation. Um, the, yeah, I was just, I just literally brought it up. was looking at the Cause I want to see, they, go ahead. I've just seen, um, Okay, no, I, I I take that back. Earlier, my earlier statement games I was looking for too. Um, I, I remember that. Remember Anthem. Anthem will be showcased case at E3 this year. I uh, so that I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with Anthem. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. Or you, I, can, you or but you can buy it. we had that conversation. Yes, the the best thing to do with Anthem is to wait. I'm waiting. Cause I I don't want to get I don't want to get division, and then I'm waiting on the division too. See what else and that and see, that'll be at E3 this year. I'm pretty sure. But say that. See, let me let yeah, me man. let me tell you this. This is what would win me over with the division two, because the division one before the very first update was a very fun game. Mm-hmm. What would what would make me be truly happy with the division is if they gave us everything that was the demo. Remember the demo they showed at E3. Where old yeah. boy had the drone, he sent the drone, and da 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 da. da. They if were they, talking to each other. Yeah, if they give me all of that, and that much more tactical precision, that that I expected from a, isn't it Tom Clancy, the division? Yeah, it is. Give me a little more tactical, and I'll be okay. Ooh, mm. or like a, you know what else would be dope if if somebody announced like a hyper realistic, like um, uh, Splinter Cell. Like the RPG type? No, like well, with RPG aspects, of course, with like upgrading your guns and stuff. Yeah, but, but I'm talking like a, like more realism in the sense of okay, you take three shots and you're dead. Like, mm. or okay. like if you knock somebody out and it makes a loud noise, 
somebody on the other side of the building will hear it. Like yeah. I, I want like a hyper realistic experience that'll make it <laughs> where it's not friendly for everybody. Like the Dark Souls of Splinter Cell. That, yeah, that's that's what I would I would love to see that. That'd be fly. <laughs> That'd be fly as hell. See, a game like that would uh such a niche game. Yeah, because you not uh, and but see a game for a game like that to succeed, it would have to have it would have to first of all give you major customization uh thing obviously things with your character and then it would have to give you a lot of options to do stuff yeah which like, that's what splinter cell has historically always done yeah um, but could you imagine like ooh, that would be bad ass see i i've always and that's like i've always tried to like build my characters around what i what i like so like um i got like two playing styles Either I like to just run around and see and test my gun skill. And, and this is in shooters. I test my gun skill against your gun skill by just sprinting at you and shooting away and seeing who, who kills who first. And um, or I like to I like to do the pistol sniper thing uh-huh. and play like that or like melee, you know, or any any type of knife, any type of sword. Figuring out that way because now I got that's two different play styles. One's more rusher rush type infantry. The other one's sit back, almost like a support, like lone wolf type character. And that's just how I play. So when I see when I hear something like that, I want to be like snake with like a a knife, <laughs> and I want to be in bushes and shit. And you come by, I just stick you and stat and dip back into the bush. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go ahead and apologize, folks. I'm exhausted. No, I, I see. How, how I made it. I, I mean, I I think we can call it quits. You look tired, man. Um, this is. I know we missed we missed last week. I we apologize for that. Yeah, I was out of town for work. Yeah, and um, we we've been um. Actually, we we will have an announcement, uh, next week. Yeah. Um, we will have an announcement next week. Uh, for uh, our giveaway that we will be doing, yeah, and that'll be for uh, damn right, our twenty fifth, our twenty fifth episode. So stay tuned to that. Um, like I said, we we do apologize for last week not having an episode. Uh, this has been a crazy month so far. You've been grinding. He's been grinding. I've been low key grinding behind the scenes, getting some stuff done. Organized. So uh, yeah, just hey man, I'm proud of you, dog. You're doing your thing. Look at showing his muscles, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, that'll be it for today, dog. I think we can call it quits this episode. Subscribe, mm-hmm. please, please hit the bell. The bell is important. The bell is very important. Hey, man, can you stop acting crazy? Outro time, and you over here dancing. Baron J six seven. I'm I am, sleepy. Uh, UT Jones too, and he's grumpy, and we are too legit. To okay, win. that's it. Um, peace out. <laughs> <laughs>